In this video, we're going to discuss how web pages are actually located. So the internet is the largest and most well-known wide area network. It's a collection of interconnected networks spanning the world. Now remember from our previous video, this is not the same as the World Wide Web, which is just a service provided on the internet. Web servers located on the internet carry out many functions. The most common are hosting websites and dealing with clients' requests. A web page, stored as a collection of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other multimedia files, is sent to a browser, which then uses various rules to render it correctly. So let's step through that process. First, we have the client that requests a URL via a web browser, in this case, www.bbc.co.uk. The browser sends the domain name to a domain name server. The domain name server maps the domain name to an IP address and returns it to the browser. A GET request for the web page is now sent to the web server using the IP address that we now know about. The requested web page is returned to the client's web browser. That's probably enough of an understanding for the exam, but the domain name service is a little more complicated than that, so we're just going to go into a bit more detail about what's really going on. So in this example, the URL we've typed into our browser is www.google.com. So this URL is received by a domain name server. The server then queries what's known as a root name server. The root name server responds with the address of the top level domain name server, in this case, .com. The resolver then makes a request to the .com TLD server or top level domain server. The top level domain server responds with the IP address of the domain's name server. The recursive resolver then sends a query to the domain's name server. The name server returns the IP address of google.com to the resolver and the DNS resolver responds to the web browser with the Google's IP address. Now, although this is probably more complex than you need to understand, the takeaway here is that the domain name service is actually a series of separate domain name servers, but the ultimate purpose is always the same. It's to return an IP address to a specific server that's hosting a web page from a human-friendly URL that you've provided. That's everything you need to know for the exam. Pause the video and take some notes.